What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you exactly how to make a fuzz face circuit for one of these without paying ridiculous amounts of prices because if you're like me and you've been on eBay and Reverb, I mean people are fucking crazy. For a used Boss SD1 pedal, I mean they're asking $44.95 you can buy a new one for $49.99 so everybody's out of their fucking mind and this one right here I found on Reverb $675 who gives a shit what year it's from I'm gonna show you right now how to make the exact circuit that's in this the only thing you're not gonna get is the case so we flip it around and we have the insides over here we got our circuit board right here we got the fuzz trim pot just like on your guitar but one is 1k and this one over here the volume that's a 500k up here we have some quarter inch TSR mono female uh, input output jacks over here we got a battery over here we have a double pole double throw foot switch to turn it off and on and then this is our circuit board zooming in on the circuit board you can see you have a resistor you have a transistor which is germanium you have another secondary transistor which is germanium these are AC 128s. You can swap them out for a BC 108, or you can look up the equivalents and it will change your tone a bit. Over here on the left, you have a capacitor. It's polarized, meaning it has polarity, a positive and negative. This big one, same thing, positive and negative cap capacitor. Then you got a smaller resistor and some bigger resistors and then you have another capacitor. This one is a different type. It happens to be a ceramic. Down here you have your wires and over here you have a ground wire. This screw up here is just a mounting one and you can trace all of these wires to the switch up to your pots, up to your input and output jacks and uh, your battery purple usually I, I mean that's your positive but it, it it's usually um, red next picture this is the circuit board so here's a clearer picture of the color of wires and your capacitors and this capacitor looks like uh, they ran some heat shrink tubing over across the board and this is the positive side this will be the negative side you got your uh, transistors your resistors your other capacitor your ground down here and then in this picture is the back side of the board the gold that you're seeing here you can use any kind of board it doesn't have to have these fancy laid out traces and that's what these gold things are called traces so if you're putting one together that isn't pre-made like they're selling in these clone kits which to me you know it's all right but you don't need it you can just buy yourself a uh, board and just be careful on where you're putting it through and what you're soldering to because like over here where it says see these two you're gonna have two different components soldered together up here you're gonna have two different components soldered together and then on this next picture this is an overlay now if you notice all the letters are backwards that's because I flipped and mirrored the bottom of the board over to overlay the top of the board to give you a better representation and we'll start with the red wire where that comes in that comes in and it goes to the positive side of this capacitor up here and then it flows through to the negative side comes down and around and it connects to this uh, germanium transistor and like I said before you can change these out for silicone if you want 
and if you're not sure what these legs are I'm not going to get into it right now but uh, you have an emitter a collector just look it up uh, so we come from the negative side of this cap into the middle part of the transistor that trace runs over to your resistor now your resistors do not have tolerances they have colors gold and silver stripe indicates tolerance 5% 10% tolerance your colors represent the resistance of that resistor so if we follow it down these do not have polarity so you can stick them in any way you want it goes to this part of the trace this trace comes down you can clearly see this leg of this transistor connects in to the circuit we follow that up and around and it connects to the orange wire then we have these two wires up here which go in two separate holes but they are soldered on the bottom of this board because remember you're looking at the bottom of the board they're soldered together and it simply runs over to the positive side of this cap and this cap would be orientated where the negative side is over here positive would be over here they put some heat shrink on it ran the leg down to the hole and soldered it moving down to this green one you can see the trace runs over underneath and if it's very hard to see but you can see it there is a negative mark here indicating the negative side here that's where this cap gets soldered into if we move over to this wire which we go down one that's gonna get soldered in it's gonna connect to this resistor now this resistor you can see goes straight across but the trace on the bottom goes down on a diagonal so we're gonna follow that trace and you can see this resistor is soldered in this resistor here is soldered in with this resistor and then we come over and we can see the trace is connected underneath and this resistor is soldered in with this resistor and over here that resistor is soldered in with this leg of your transistor coming back up to this first resistor you'll notice the trace gets connected in and it'll tie in with the middle leg of your transistor coming back over to the bottom resistor these two resistors are connected but this trace where this resistor lies is on a diagonal and it's soldered in with this big capacitor and then if you look at this side of the capacitor it goes up to this yellow wire this wire is your ground wire and this wire just gets mounted to the inside of the case that is your whole entire circuit that you're paying an enormous amount of money for so unless you're a collector or you're just anal and you have to have the original this is shit you can buy for a couple bucks at DigiKey or your electronic hard, hardware store what, where, or electronic shop I'm getting kind of pissed off here because these guys are making tons of fucking money man and this is what you got 